In this James the Bike Guy video, we're checking out a 2022 Specialized Stump Jumper Evo Comp. This trail bike has 160 millimeters of front travel, adjustments galore, and the comp version happens to be the cheapest in their carbon fiber lineup. So we're gonna go into some of the features and designs of this bike. We'll talk about what makes it tick, and then of course, we'll find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, I suggest you hit subscribe and let's check out this bike together. The Specialized Stump Jumper Evo is the big brother of the traditional Stump Jumper. Now the Stump Jumper series has been a trail bike that's been around for quite some time. And in 2021, they came out with these new frames that we're seeing in front of us, where they had a short travel and the long travel Evo version. So to understand where this Evo slots in, let's check out the non-Evo version, which for 2021 went to flex day rear end, has shorter travel, but still very progressive frame geometry. And then the Evo that's in front of us here lengthened out to 160 millimeters of front travel and then 150 millimeters of horse link rear suspension. And that rear suspension really allows for a very active suspension setup so that it's gonna go through you know, chundery terrain or chopped up trails really well. And to combine that extra suspension travel, the Evo versions get a whole bunch of frame geometry adjustment. So if we check out the front end, you'll notice that basically it looks like ovalized headset race. And that race is replaceable with two different adapters so that you get three positions on the front end, allowing you to run a 63 to 66 and a half degree head tube angle. And then continuing that adjustment, the rear end of the bike where the horse link pivot is, that horse link is able to go into a high and a low position. And that's gonna, of course, make a slight geometry adjustment as far as chain stay. It will affect the head tube and seat tube angles, but it's really moving that bottom bracket drop from 39 millimeters, which is super low, to 32 millimeters in the high position. And so you combine those together and the Evo version is essentially the highly adjusted, you know, raked out, slacked out version of the stump jumper. Now this is still considered an all mountain bike, although you could definitely do some enduro runs on it. And this version, the comp level, is gonna be the least expensive that's running their fact carbon frame. Now they do make an aluminum version of this as well, but this is the fact 11M carbon which happens to be the same carbon fiber that you'd get on the S-Works. And I really love to see that on this 2022 because essentially any version of the carbon stump jumper is gonna have the same level frame as the absolute top end. Only change is gonna be this still runs an aluminum link here for the yoke to the rear shock. And of course the suspension and all those other components are adapted for the lower priced comp version of the bike. Driving into the components, the comp version comes with a GX Eagle group set. This happens to be the GX Eagle Lunar group set, which means we've got this clutched Eagle 12 speed rear derailleur that runs to a single ring up front. Now the cassette being the Lunar version is their 11 to 52 tooth cogs. This last cog is 52 teeth which is absolutely massive, giving you a ton of range. And then it drives forward to this GX crankset. This crankset is an alloy setup. It's got a dub threaded bottom bracket into the frame, and it offers a narrow wide 32 tooth chain ring and chain guide mounted up to the ISCG mounts underneath the bottom bracket. Slowing the bike down is courtesy of SRAM's Code RS brakes. It's a hydraulic DOT system with four piston calipers, both on the front and the rear. The 160 millimeters of front suspension is courtesy of Fox's Rhythm 36 front fork. So this fork is the less expensive version of the Fox 36. The Rhythm version uses just slightly more basic materials to be able to help lower the cost, but it's a 36 millimeter stanchion. You get a fit grip damper with lots of adjustment positions between there. Of course, rebound underneath the cap, boost 15 by 110. And then of course, this is gonna be air adjustable as well as accepts tokens. And on the back is gonna be a Fox Float X. The Float X rear shock uses specialized RX trail tune. It's got an Evolve air spring for adjustments of air tokens on the inside. And it's a traditional metric shock, so you can replace it out if there's something else you'd prefer. 
Cockpit componentry on the bike is all aluminum running a specialized alloy handlebar. It's super wide at 800 millimeters of width with a 30 millimeter rise. It has a nice short stubby stem with a 35 millimeter bar clamp. And then nicely specced on the bike is going to be a set of specialized lock-on grips. And then moving to the back is a body geometry bridge saddle mounted up on a dropper post. The dropper post that comes with this bike is an X-Fusion Manic post, and it's gonna come in a variety of drop sizes based on the frame size of the bike. Now to operate this, it is one by style specific, so you've got a lever right on the handlebar that you can press, and that's gonna allow the seat to drop down with your body weight or lift back up with your weight off of the seat. The Stump Jumper Evo is gonna be rolling on the trail via a butcher eliminator combo. So it's got the Butcher T9 front tire, which is gonna be a super grippy, very tall treaded front tire. And the T9 casing is their stickiest of rubber casings. So it's really gonna hook up. And now this tire is running in a size 29 by 2.3, mounted up on some specialized 29 inch hookless alloy rims. These rims, of course, are tubeless ready with 30 millimeter internal width. And on the back is the Eliminator grid trail tire in a T7 compound. So you'll see the tread on this. It's gonna be a little less aggressive, a little bit faster rolling. And that T7 compound should be harder, but more durable rubber compound. But one more thing to mention about on the back end is it's running a 29 inch wheel here stock. However, because of that adjustment, the high and low position, you can actually swap this out to be a mullet in the back, meaning running a 27 and a half inch wheel with a plus size tire out back, keeping the 29 up front, all that adjustment dials in the wheel setup as well. The actual weight of the Stump Jumper Evo Comp is going to come in and weigh 31.40 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the 2022 Specialized Stump Jumper Evo Comp. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to browse the channel for more videos like this to check out as well.